You had to fight unbelievably hard as a team. You must be pleased uh, with a point away from home, your second clean sheet of the mm. season as well. Yeah, again, um, we, we, we need to focus on, on the positives. Uh, Brighton are a really good team. team has been built over a number of years now and, um, you know, a show tonight. But um, but to be fair to our lads, you know, like you said, it's a, it's a good point. Um, it's a clean sheet away from home. If we had a few more points on the board, it would obviously be, be even better. But um, I'm just really pleased that you know we could have could and should have maybe drawn the game against Wolves with a couple of things that didn't quite go our way um, second half. Um, and I challenge the players the day after you know to be better at certain things of, of our game and to be on the run that we, we're on. You know to show that spirit and that fight and that commitment to to the game plan um, pleases me really because um, you know they didn't look like a a set of players that were kicked in the teeth on the weekend and uh, and are not winning games. You know, they look like a, a fairly confident group that are trying to get better. Um, so um, so progress tonight, you know, not, not where we want to be in the league and all that sort of stuff, we know that. But um, if we take the game in isolation, we, we've got to be happy with the point. Yeah, you said the word would fight just there. In the second mm. half, you definitely made mm. life more difficult for Brian, a bit more physical, there was mm. tough tackling as well. Was that what you'd ask for from the players at half-time? Well, it's a non-negotiable, isn't it? You know, it's football's a competition. You have to have to compete and um, are competitive, yeah. But you know, we wanted to play with a with a style as well. We wanted to play with an idea. And um, like I said, Brighton are a good team, and you can see why they've got the points that they've got and the league position that they they're in. And um, we had to do certain things today in our game plan to to try and stifle that. And in the end, we did. Dean's made a great save second half, obviously, and I'm really pleased for him to get the clean sheet. You know, he's. Um, He's a really good goalkeeper, and we're so happy that he's with us. But um, but yeah, you know we we deserved the point with what we thought we did well in the game, particularly like the spirit and and um, and not giving up. And uh, like I said, we got to take the positives out of this and uh, take it to Liverpool on the weekend. Yeah, just just finally in terms of moving forward, learning from this one, is it a case of just creating a few more chances, getting the ball in, in the final third a bit more? Because as you said before the game, you need wins. It, yeah, it's exactly that. And um, like I said, if... Um, you know, if, if a few things had gone our way in, in other games and we had more points on the board, you know, to, tonight would be a, a great point, you know. But um, um, it's probably just a good point because obviously we, we're striving for, for that win. But, um, but you know, I have to look at the process of the game. I have to look at, um, you know, the ins and outs of it. And, um, of course, you know, the, the scoreline will always write the headlines and, and the narrative, but we've got to look a bit deeper in that in when we review the game. And um, there were things I liked, but still loads of things we know we've got to get better at.